hi there, thank you so much for stumbling across this video. Now, just before you watch part two, if you've just clicked on, we do have part one that is, at this moment in time of recording, is being uploaded. So, if you do want to watch it in order, feel free to jump on to our channel icon and watch away. Let us know what you think as well. Um, this beautiful ident uh, sprite has been made by Obsidian Cryptid on Instagram and TikTok. They are incredible. So if you do like the art that you're seeing at the moment, go and support Obsidian Cryptid today because they are incredible. Until then, carry on with the video. Have a lovely day. Thanks for watching and have a brilliant day. Black car uh, Bonnie from the uh, special delivery wave, special edition. Um, he, lo he looks adorable, he looks really cute. I really, I really do love him. Like, like, just look at that cute little face. He is adorable. So, um, so yeah. At the bottom, going right down, we've got um, VR Freddy. Yeah, got a VR Freddy. I don't yet own the figure of this one, but I do think it looks really cool. Like, um, again, what we're saying about the tags, I've kept the tags on. It looks really cute. Uh, collectible plush. Special delivery. AR. So there's AR and there's VR, but I always get the two mixed up. Um, okay, so there's that one. And then across, you've got the other one, the variation of it. This was the one that I got for Christmas. Thanks, babes. Um, like, my boyfriend got me this one. Special edition. So, I'm not sure, like, is this a special edition? I'm guessing it is. The, the little special edition. So, again, I, I've, I've kept these tagged, but um, I've got these, for, like, these were from Forbidden Planet. And, yeah, yeah. Got this one from work. This was like 4 99 which was a shock. Yeah, looking at that, that is a special edition one. But, um, yeah. Okay, I don't know what the hell's happened to this side. So we got, <laughs> we got, we got my custom Glam Rock Chica little um, model that I made using clay. She's sort of, it's, got, it's all gone to her head, this fame, you see. You've got um, High School Chica. I've seen recolors of these. Like, I've seen the plushies again, but like in a dark blue. So I'm, I'm not sure if that's like a variant or something. You got a little snowman. But yeah, I had to go use, like, I made this. She looks really bog eyed. I made this um, when I was bored over lockdown. And I just, um, she looks like really bog eyed. Seen some things in the pizza plex. But um, yeah, like, I really like, it's pretty funny though. That was <laughs> Look at this dude. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. So coming up, we've got. Um, Sister Mero Bonnie, which is the standard one, I'm guessing. Uh, but I got this one from B&M for, uh, for about $3.99, $4.99. And then you've got um, from the project that's coming out eventually. Um, Joshua Richmond, that my, my boyfriend's voice acting um, in Agent B. So, going across, one of the carrots from the passion project I'm working on. Um, it's another... Yeah, okay, okay, so so I'm guessing there was variants, because this was the official one, I think. Well, yeah, obviously, the, the little tag thing. And then you've got the special edition one, I think you can just, just about make that out. Special edition... Um, Different like variant skin, like gold, and then you've got the, the reddish one. And then going across, we've got more like custom figures that I've done um, of my character. So um, this will be coming out as its own video on the channel. Um, the making of a realistic fursuit. So here we have Raymond, um, which looks really cool. He's like, he was fun to make. Um, going up, another passion project that is coming out. Um, just been working in the background. This is from the Implausible Tale. 
uh, that's coming out soon. So I've not got a head for uh, Agent B herself yet, but this is using, um, uh, like I just need a lioness head to go on this one. But um, yeah, yeah, Blasting's character. So here we have like a, another character, which is, um, it's Radioactive Foxy, but I'm guessing, special edition version of him, so I don't know how many of these were made or something, but um, yeah, it's pretty safe to say in it, it's a, it's a recolor of that one. And you got, again, from the passion projects I'm working on, um, it's coming guys, it's coming, we're on the last scene, it's coming. Uh, so we've got, um, oh, it doesn't do the hang, hang, I don't know why that, like, like, this one's like a material nose, and then on some of them, it, they're not, but, uh, yeah, so you've got, um, Tide Eye Freddy, he's, he's really cute, I got him from Smith's, he was, he was worth the finale. And then going across, I'm guessing this one is a special, is it a special edition one? Yeah, it is, here it is. So, um, just there in the corner. Um, this was one that I picked up in the sale at Forbidden Planet because we were getting rid of a lot of them. Um, for about, I think it was about like five quid or something. Uh, we have a custom oh, BD, uh, I don't know what they're called, but I won, I, like, I won this at, um, a cosplay meet for when I did Foxy, which was going back a while ago. <laughs> so that's the only one that survived. I did have a Foxy one and a Freddy one, but I gave them to my friend in Liverpool because um, my friend in Liverpool does like them. So you've got Freddy, Five Nights at Freddy's, a uh, cute little keychain. You have a Foxy one. I couldn't find my initial. It was the only one that was there, and I just thought, yeah. Just just get it. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's, if you like the font. And across, you've got Baby, Ballora, and here's one of my customs. Here's another custom I did. This is, again, the paint's not amazing, but again, it's only for me on my shelf. So this is a custom balloon Funtime Foxy or balloon mangle that I painted uh, to just be another one on the shelf. Um, as you can see, paint's a bit in there, but um, I think it's an alright, I think it's an alright, pr pretty cute, that's all there is. So at the back of her, you've got, or them, you've got um, Where Fantasy and Fun Come to Lie, which is one of the Freddy Fazbear Cups from Abbey Style. You've also got another one, um, where it's got all of the characters on, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, yeah, we've got Laura. Baby, and then going right down. Um, now moving on to my, um, I'm going to say other plushies and book collection. Okay, so here we have the Sis Location poster. Um, got Fun Time Foxy, Fred, Fred. Oh God, um, I, I just don't know what's wrong with me today. You've got Fun Time Freddy with Bonbon, bon. um, Baby, the Biddy Babs, and you've got Ballora, which looks amazing. The, the artwork for this is sick. Uh, I got this from Aussie Collectibles, which is a new shop that's opened over it. Um, I'm not sure if it's new, but it's definitely newer. Just to show that, like, you've got Bonnie, Freddy, Chica, and obviously Foxy. Yeah, yeah. So, just yesterday, like I was saying, um, I managed to get two new books. Uh, so this is again from the Fazbear Frights line. It's Into the Ball, oh, uh, Into the Pit, the Ball Pit. That teleports them, I think, one of the characters back to 1970 or 1980. Um, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not too sure. Now, a good deal, what they had on in uh, h and over here was you can mix and match two books for seven quid or 4 99 each. So, yeah, like, I've added these two, book one and two, to the uh, ever-growing uh, collection of books. 
and these do remind me of Goosebumps. Now, me and my sister used to watch Goosebumps as a kid, and um, we used to read the books, and yeah, it was, it, it's, it's got that sort of charm to it. So yeah, um, there's the Twisted ones. I really, the Silver Eyes, sorry. Um, I would love to own them, but um, yeah, let us know in the comments what is your favourite Tales from the Pizza Plex book. I don't really own them yet, but... Uh, what is your favourite Fazbear Frights book as well? Like, which one would you recommend to anyone? Uh, just out of interest. But yeah. So originally there was £7.99 each. So that's, yeah, I think I got a good deal there for two books. Okay, so this one, uh, surprisingly, is from the UK. Now, I would have thought I would have had to have uh, imported this from eBay. Uh, but again, this is a special edition, and finally, I do own um, a Firework Freddy next to his like figurine uh, counterpart. Uh, again, this was from Aussie Collectibles. Um, sadly, it's not got the um, Walmart sticker on, but it does have a special edition sticker on, so that's pretty cute. So yeah, um, I do own finally own him now in the collection and again same with Shamrock Freddy I, I own like a, again special edition this one was from eBay this was like 12 pounds but yeah yeah like um, um yeah it's I, I really think they're cute I, re I really like the different skins like the different you know like themed ones so here we have um, a pop goes uh, a popsies um, uh, foxy figure. Um, I have seen the Freddy ones, but again, you can get them for a good price. You know, like they're in the reduced, and then you press it, and it covers up like that. Oh, <laughs> it's going to parts and service now. So pop go pop like popsy foxy. Oh, that's pretty cute. That um, was eight ninety nine. So we also have. Foxy, this was the first ever Funko Snap that I own. It's the Pop um, Snaps Foxy figure. I've seen that they've released a Phantom Foxy, but there is a good YouTuber, if I can remember his name, he made a screen accurate custom Phantom Foxy, and I would highly recommend you check out his channel because his customs are amazing. Just last month, I managed to find the uh, Fazbear Initiative um, plushies. They look really, really cool. Um, like, these honestly are amazing. Like, I really love these. So you've got Kanda, the cat, from Five Nights at Candies. Um, again, special edition. I've kept these on from the Fazbear Fanverse initiative um, these were 11 99 so you got uh, Candy the Cat you've got I'm not too sure what the badge is called you've got the badge character uh, again special edition and then you've got um, this one from Pop Goes or something Pop, Pop Goes and limited edition Fazbear Fanverse you've also got I've well they're the main three from that wave I've got tie-dye foxy from the tie-dye wave again um, what I was saying earlier he's really cute I've got this one that my boyfriend got me absolutely love this one I've got um, nightmare Bonnie um, oh, excuse me that's my mic uh, you got nightmare Bonnie he looks absolutely adorable I love the details the face um, they've since re-released these, but I, I don't want to. I just don't want to pay like thirty quid for something similar I already own. Um, you've also got um, little uh, Statue of Liberty Chica, Liberty Chica. So she looks amazing as well. Um, I just got her last month. She's again special edition, and I got her from. What's it called? Aussie Collectibles, which is something that I would recommend anyone who's looking.
looking for the collection to grow. Carrying on with some plushies, we've got Balloon Foxy. Again, how much was he? He was £12.99, I need to take the prices off. Um, Nightmare Foxy, for my birthday. Got some ooh, pink gin candles, I didn't realise I had them. Um, <laughs> so yeah, and then you've got, um, what's he called? Uh, Sun and Moon, but Moon, uh, I've got the Moon, the Moon one. This was twelve ninety nine Security Breach, this was from Thin Planet. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, ooh, got what we got. We have um, Balloon Freddy, Circus Foxy, um, Circus Freddy, Radioactive Foxy. I've got two of those. You've got um, Balloon Freddy, Circus Chica. Um, when I went to Vegas. Um, you've got Circus Foxy, you've got Circus Bonnie, um, Balloon Foxy, and you've got the Sun from the Sun and Moon new security breach wave. When I went to Vegas, um, you've got Moon there next to Sun, and then you've got, so these were 14, dollars and 99 cents when I went to America they it's really annoying because since now in the UK they've actually started to reduce them uh, this is the only tie-dye figure that I own for now but I would like to own more um, if I see them at a sort of good price range um, I've seen them on, I've seen them online like they are good figures however I wasn't massively keen on the tie-dye wave um, seeing people are buying them and like restoring them because people who've just got into FNAF now want the original FNAF OG characters. Okay, so this was one that I got, I think it was about two months ago. This was the Monty and Chica uh, figure box where you get the Funko snaps. No Roxanne, which is a shame so far. You've got Monty and Glamrock Chica. So I'm only after Roxanne if she comes out. Um, I don't really own any of the play sets because, again, I don't know if you probably noticed in my room, but I don't really have anywhere to put them. So, um, I admire them from afar. Uh, <laughs> um, that looks terrifying. So, uh, yeah, like, uh, the gimmick is, is that you, like, pop them and they snap. You can, like, turn them into, currently, like, your own characters. Towards the side of this one, we've got Marilyn Monroe. Uh, some artwork. Uh, clock from Elvis, um, some fan art, you've got um, Freddy and <laughs> Stingtrap that my boyfriend got wrong, <laughs> call him Stingtrap. Did you see Springtrap in the trailer as well? What's Stingtrap? Oh my god! What? So coming up we've got um, Funtime Foxy which was the exclusive. Uh, it's a re-release, but it has the baby image on the on the on the picture. You've also got again Firework Freddy. Um, he's cool. Some Vegas uh, graduation, but yeah, yeah. So again, in terms of plushies, we have this one which we got yesterday. He was twelve ninety nine again uh, from Forbidden Planet. They had quite a lot of these in. I don't own these in my collection. All I'm after now is Balloon Chica, if I see her. So we have Balloon, um, Circus, uh, like Clown Bonnie. I think it's Clown Bonnie in it. Circus Bonnie, that's it. Um, he's adorable. So he's like really soft as well. Like the materials are really lovely. Um, it's Funko. So yeah, it's even more plushies. Okay, on to box figures. So we've got Forbidden Planet, Arctic Special Edition, uh, Arctic Ballora. She looks amazing. Again, this is what I'm after. As you can tell, I had to settle for that one. But I'm grateful. I'm I'm very grateful that you know um, I do own some of these. 
uh, you've got Grim Foxy, I got from I got from work last year when he was in the sale. You've got Liberty Chica, Shamrock Freddy, Jack Old Bonnie. Got him from work when he was on sale. Uh, this was a gift from Fusion Trash, so go and give them a follow. They're amazing. They do like the incredible, like some of the incredible artwork you've seen on the wall. Um, Captain Foxy. You've got some too wild the little game. Uh, you've got Golden Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Blackheart, Bonnie, uh, Glitch Trap. You've got High School Chica. Sister Mara, Toy Bonnie, Really What's a Foxy, uh, Roxanne Wolf, Glam Rock Freddy, which do what we got a re release of with like better proportions and better likeness to him. But Montgomery Gator, uh, Dreadbear himself. I was actually thinking about getting one of these and just like repainting it to look like Nightmare uh, Fredbear because I think that'd be a good base to use, unless you just get like a boot like uh, Nightmare Freddy, which I do have, and I could just paint that one and then just keep the original one in the box or something, again that's my way of looking at it. Um, we've got some adorable artwork that came with some like stickers, I gave some of the stickers to my friend uh, from Liverpool because um, like, I got her a glow in the dark baby figure as well. Bio World, that's it, Bio World, it's just the name just come to me. Um, got an art piece that my friend Rachel did for me um, in, I think it was my, on my 16th birthday. Uh, got, got Ray there, 20, oh, 2015. Blimey. Uh, you got Mangle and Foxy because, again, I used to ship them. Still do. I think they're adorable. Got a little guitar here that I was going to have for when I um, do my Toy Bonnie cosplay. <laughs> but yeah. So, so yeah, that's that's the extent of my um, sort of like boxed FNAF figure merch that you've seen so far. Um, I put this on. I put the Guitar Hero um, guitar on because it kind of was a nice nod to Bonnie's guitar. Again, I've managed to reseal these and build spring trap. So, a little club trick was I just carefully open the packaging at the bottom and then just slot them back in very delicately and just, I'm able to like reseal them. Again I've not opened like the only ones that I've opened are the ones at the top, these three. But yeah, um, I would like to see more Roxanne Wolf merch, I think that'd be amazing um, as well. But um, I would like to try and get hold of like a Glam Rock Chica that I could keep boxed. My goal was to have Vanny and Chica, but again, I'm just grateful for what I could find and what I could own in my collection so far. So, um, yeah. Let us know which one is your favourite out of the box um, stuff. Or which one would you say you would love to see me unbox in a future video? That would be an interesting video. So we've got, well, who do we have? We've got the one that I got from Vegas, which was uh, Twisted Freddy. You've got um, Balloon Foxy, which was the original one, not the fluffy one. You've got Circus Freddy, um, Balloon Chica, uh, again, like I said, Tyler Foxy. Uh, you've got the exclusive... Um, flocked one. Hey there, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope that you're having a wonderful day when you hear this. And don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Have a wonderful day, thank you so much. Stay fabulous, you're amazing.